Yes. Do you have a 10 o'clock there? Yep. Okay. Let's call to order the City of Ocean Shores Library Board of Trustees meeting on Wednesday, February 8th, 2023. So looking at the agenda, do we have any, any changes, additions? No? Motion to approve, please. Good morning, Allison. Morning. How are you? Doing good. Okay. Was that a second, Jenny? With you, Jenny? Yes, I'll second. I'll second it. Okay. Okay. The agenda is approved. And we have a public community. Do you have anyone for public communication, Sarah? We need a vote. Oh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Approved. Aye. Negative? Okay, our agenda is approved as published here. Do you have anyone for public? Comment? I did not receive any written public comments. Okay. Mr. Mayor. Well, thank you for allowing me to speak. Uh, I really appreciate the job that this board does all of our boards in our um, city are very important and you are i don't want to get myself in trouble but you're one of my favorite boards because you are very active when it comes to city council meetings that you have representation constantly talking about what's happening in at the library um, and um, ever since i've been on the council your presentations have always been one of my favorite um, because you're very consistent and there's just great things that you guys do and, and fun things um, that you do. So I would encourage you to keep, keep moving forward. But the boards, and one of the things that my focus is to uh, make it to all the board meetings, how important that you are of setting um, not only your strategic plan um, for the library, but also for the city. Um, that uh, there's always, Many people have different views and thoughts about whatever um, different boards do. Um, what is important is the board themselves, um, you guys deal with it every single day and some of the practicalities or difficulties of providing services that you do, that you guys are the experts. And that's the feedback that I need as a mayor, as well as a council, for what that needs to be. You know, we as a city have limited amounts of funds and so we have to figure out how do we make everything in the city work with the funds that we have um, i uh, was on the uh, council when the library was not part of the city budget um, in fact i moved here when the library got removed from the city budget and then then the friends of the library and, and everyone that worked really hard to keep the library going and um, every time I hear the uh, the story of the Ocean Shores Library it makes me smile because it makes me understand the battles that have been to keep this library going and what is even more important to me is this is the Ocean Shores Library it's not Kimberlin it is it is truly unique to Ocean Shores um, so from a, um, a city point of view that uh, you know you need to make sure your voices are heard of whatever your needs are you know and because you're part of the budgeting process of where we go through and and it's, and from the budgeting process it's always a balance you know how how to do how to do everything um, but you guys are the experts and i'm always uh impressed of the different programs that you bring in that are unique and that this is more than just checking out a book. I mean, you know, that you, you the, our library continues to evolve as society evolves, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and again, uh, I would just would encourage you to continue doing the special, special things that you do. Uh, like one of the things that, uh, you know, that I tell Keith all the time, my favorite one is, of course, Reptile Man. Oh, <laughs> John. 
John, I have bad news. What? Reptile man retired. Oh no. And reptile son is running the farm in Monroe. But the shining light is reptile man has a daughter. Okay. So we now have reptile lady. Okay. okay. And right. I have her booked. I'll send you the date okay. and get it on your calendar. But that's, that's my purpose. But my other one that, that really uh, uh, I find just uh, one of the things that just struck me that you guys did was the the uh, Banner Book um, Month. Is it a month? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that you could see, you could support whatever your band book was uh, with it. But I thought that was so impressive with, of books that I wouldn't think would be banned that were banned. Um, but that's where it's important that the library continues to stand up for what the library is. And, and you are, of all of our uh, groups that we have in Ocean Shores, you are unique because I, I as mayor, can't tell you what books you can have or not. I mean, there, there's a there's laws that, mm -hmm. that make you you know totally unique, and I embrace that. So, but as as you guys work on your strategic plan and your thoughts or whatever, if there's assistance that you need from the city or clarification or whatever, or us to be part of the discussion, um, you've got my number, email. Uh, you know where my office is. Um, that, that I'm there, but uh, you guys are very important um, to the future of Ocean Shores. Thank you. But I'm sad about reptile. <laughs> <laughs> reptile. But, 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 but I'm glad that Jeff is, is moving forward. It is. <laughs> Same reptiles. They live for a long time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the one program I will never, ever, ever come to. <laughs> oh, Denise. Yeah. You did have Don Williams join via Zoom. Oh, okay. Oh, oh hi, Don. Did he indicate any public comment? Don, do you have a public comment? Yes, I do. Can you hear, can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Um, okay, thank you and good morning. I, I was sorry to hear about Reptile Man because I, I've seen him several times, including last summer, but apparently you'll have another um, a person to do that on the outside area it was very nice i was this i wanted to say i was looking through the um list of uh public works projects that were was passed out at the last public works committee meeting and i did not see on it the project to install um charging stations at the convention center i believe there was about 10 being installed and, and that omission maybe it's already been done but it was not listed even though many, many projects that have been done were listed. Um, I think you gotta maybe think about somewhere along the way having charging stations in the library parking lot. Uh, I was surprised that when the discussion came up last year and a contract was signed by the city to have that work done, I think at almost no cost by, is it by Tesla? I'm not really sure. But uh, uh, I was surprised thinking back that why what were a couple of those proposed to be put at the library. And I would can see people coming with a great desire to charge their electric vehicles while they read the the, the morning newspaper. And, you know, it's just a thought to think about in the future as a project. And that's about it. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you, Don. Okay, let's go ahead to the uh, approval of the minutes for the library board meeting on January 11th. Move to approve. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, the so minutes from January 11th are re approved. Keitha, your monthly report for us. I sent out the January figures. I'm really pleased that CERT continues to climb. We're getting close, as I said last month, um, back to what we were pre-COVID. And are there any questions on the stats before I go on to the rest of my report? Any questions, Jenny? No, no questions. Thank you. Then I want to share with you what's happening at the library. Um, a lot is evolving. I'm really excited. We are stepping up our adult programming. I've met three times now with a volunteer that was a previous library director in Oregon, and her passion is adult programming. 
And so we're getting a lot of um, adult contact program I mean, contacts going. And that is, it's just fabulous. Plus we're going to do a real full blown adult summer reading program mm -hmm. instead of just read a book and put your name in for a drawing of a donated whatever. So I'm really excited about that. So she is just fabulous to work with. For February, um, we have many things going on. I put the February events calendar over there. The big thing that has happened in February is taxes. And they have two, three volunteers that prepare taxes. And then they have one person that um, finishes them up, you know, and checks all the numbers and everything. With those four people, and they have two greeters. With those four people, the last two sessions, they've done over 40 people's taxes in three hours. So it's really good. We um, have a flyer that we put out uh, at the desk and on the webpage and everything that talks about the tax times. And then also I made up an info piece flyer that shows what's going on at the library. Because a lot of people that are coming for their taxes don't come to the library. And so we're gonna try to encourage them on what's coming. So that's the other little piece that's on the sign-in um, table there. Just a, just a PR piece to let them know a few of the things that we have available. And then, um, February Teen Zone is picking up. That's the, on the on the days that the kids can come and hang out after school. And the Teen Advisory Board. We have so many now. I think it's up to ten that we can't hold it in a little meeting room. We have to have it in here, which is so exciting. And that's the kids from the high school that work with Michelle in setting up all the teen programs for the year and suggesting books that the teens that use the library might like to read. So, and you'll see that our teen checkout, we had 128, that's pretty good. Um, I remember the days where not one teen would walk into this building. So we're, we're making good, good grounds there. Uh, we have the extravaganza this month. Nico had, I think 15 or 20 at the first extravaganza. This is the first one we've had in three years because of COVID and the expansion project. And it was a craft and he had to had fun um, games and activities that the kids could play based on the stories. So it's always book related. So February is going to be Geronimo Stilton and the author is Thea Stilton. And then the homeschool group um, still meets here and they're very active. And what else, what else, what else? Art in the Library is a young gal that is just fabulous. It's really different. So be sure and check that out. This month's um, movie theme, you know, each month I have movies that are on display is biographies. We have 109 movie biographies and I'm going to read you the three questions that I have and you can get the name of the um, movie. Whose number one hit, Me and Bobby McGee, only topped the charts after her death? Janice mm -hmm. Rumlin. Okay. What child, it's Janice Little Girl Blue is the actual name of the movie. What children's show host responded to every piece of fan mail he ever received from children? Mr. Rogers. Yep. Okay. And his, the name of the movie is Won't You Be My Neighbor? And what band had their American debut to an estimated 73 million television viewers in 1964 on the Ed Sullivan show? The Beatles. The Beatles. <laughs> and the, the name of that movie is Eight Days a Week, The Touring Years. So you guys are good. We'll see if Tommy on the radio is as good tomorrow. Uh, I told you about the stuffed animal sleepover is this Friday and this Saturday. Sorry, John, you have to come to story time to participate. <laughs> it's going to be bad. Next month, I will bring you the little booklet with the photos that Nico's yeah. working out. It is just fabulous. He is a great children's person. Book of Techie is still going very strong. And um, you're going to record on the friend, so I'll let you talk about the next book sale. The Citizens Academy is getting planned. It starts March 17th. Uh, we'll have the applications available. Sarah and I will have those available on February 24th. So that's coming right along. We are doing a computer basics class in March. Um, this is part of Nick's stepped up job description. 
where we'll be offering different computer classes. In April, he's going to be doing a class on how to switch over from Overdrive to Libby because yeah. Overdrive's going away. And then this month, the March month, is um, computer basics. This is a mouse, this is a keyboard. And that'll be prior to we open and we're using the 12 bay of computers in the library. So hopefully we'll have a good, good group. Um, other things I wanted to tell you about, the foundation has um, set goals this year to have a parkway sign installed. So I have two bids coming out to, or two people coming out to give me quotes or bids so far. I will get three. And then they're also um, going to fund, hopefully this year, some sale shade cloths over the pavilion. And I'm working with some vendors on that as well. The display case, um, I had another contractor come out Tuesday, Monday, and um, the shelves are too short, and that is what's wrong with it. So we're getting a refund for the friends on our display case saga that is up to a year <laughs> next week. And I have Aberdeen Office Supply designing a custom-built display case for us. So we'll see where that goes. So we've got the signs, the sales, and the display case going on. And also, um, I've been working with John and the finance director. And if there's a surplus, if there's a surplus in the city budget, we may be asking for the siding to be revisited and see where that goes. So I have. Um, Roglin's coming out this week to work on a proposed updated quote for that. And I think that's it. Any questions? Yeah, what, what are the parkway signs? Like CMAR sign okay. on the parkway. And I have a picture. Thank you for asking. This is a picture of kind of what I'm doing with the sales. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see Jenny and Allison. Can you see? No, not very well. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> You'll have to come visit me. So okay. Sales, kind of a geometric, colorful, um, not permanently installed. We'll take it down during the winter. It's not waterproof. It's shade proof. And they're going to have to be tall enough that our jugglers can throw up their pinwheels. And then for the sign, what I'm looking at is, hold on one second. I'll take the word there something along this line and i've got the code and i measured it and um it's going to be probably about four or five i mean probably six feet tall three feet in depth and five feet across and they'll be on a base and then there'll be just a brief reader board in the middle and then something on top with probably city logo and library logo on it so that's that's where i'm starting so that's it. Thank you. Do you want to order on canopy? No, I'm working with on um, IT to get it installed right now. Okay, cool. So yeah, there's a lot to do with that, but it's coming. Anything right. else? Any other questions for Canada? Okay, uh, old business. Uh, we already have a sign. Uh, who's going to speak at the next two city council meetings? Um, I'm on for February. Jeff, you still okay for March? Okay, and then next month we'll figure out uh, whose turn it is for April. Okay, the next item uh, on the agenda is the Strategic Plan uh, 2023 Review. So what I'd like to do is, you all have copies of it? Yes. And Okay, good. And what I'd like to do is review the changes that we have made from the, the 2020 plan. It's been a um, couple of months since we did that. And um, I really want to uh, call out Nick and his technical skills for helping me move it from, no, he didn't help me. He moved it <laughs> from, uh, Kathy had it in PowerPoint. And I, I couldn't work with PowerPoint, so he moved it into Publisher for me. So uh, if you open it up, um, and I, I did check, uh, when it printed out as part of the handout, 
the the fold doesn't really work, but it actually does on the original. So um, don't worry about that. Uh, the one thing we, the, the first thing we wanted was a revision of the strategy development. So um, uh, please take a read of that and see if there's any changes you would like. I uh, updated that. The initial one just had the 2018 and the surveys that we did were 431 that first time. But the second time, uh, we had many additional surveys, which totaled to 941. So I wanted to make sure that we included how many people actually responded in, in terms of us uh, you know, updating and, and making the changes. And the other thing that was uh, updated was the uh, acknowledgments. So any any changes to the wording of that? Suggestions? Looks good. Okay, the next change we made was under uh, provide a comfortable and safe place to visit. Under the services, uh, we changed meeting room to meeting rooms since we added the second meeting room, uh, added the outdoor pavilion to that. And then the, the rest was pretty much the same. We took displays out of that, trying to keep uh, it concise. So do make sure that I didn't mess up any of the text as we go through. I think Keith took a look at it too. The next one was connect to the online world. Uh, we initially had connect to the online world with public internet access, and we moved internet access under the services instead of the, the top there. And it said, uh, and we took out high speed. The library will provide internet access for patrons to access the digital world. And we added internet access under services. We added social media because we've really become um, active in that. And we also added resource e-resources under that. The next was stimulate imagination through reading, viewing, and listening for pleasure. Uh, those we left the same as previously. And then under promote, promote lifelong learning, uh, we added community and city information. And that was the only addition there. Uh, I did want to call out that one of the problems with that initial brochure was uh, some of the pictures, uh, some of them were a little bit distorted mm -hmm. and we wanted those updated. So uh, the library staff did provide updated pictures. I really like the new pictures. Yeah, I really like them too. So thank you, Keitha, to whoever provided the, the pictures. I don't know if that was Nick or you. Yeah, I figured that. Thank you. I think I, believe it or not, I saw a typo. Oh, it might be a typo. Well, please let me know. I never see typos, so I'm so proud. <laughs> uh, under stimulate imagination uh -huh. through reading viewing underneath it says the library will provide materials to enhance patrons and it's a singular do we want <gasps> patrons to plural? oh yeah um i don't know we had um the, the way they had said they well it, yeah you're right so that should be changed that was actually in the first one yeah, yeah. Was. i never see those things <laughs> yeah under acknowledgments, uh, maybe we should change the uh, color of the, the print. The white is difficult for those of us with the vision to read. Yeah, I think if you, um, do you remember what the original looks like? It, it's actually more visible when you're, it's contrasted with the blue, the circle is blue. Um, okay, I just everything else is done in black. Yeah. All the other 
height is in black and then this the acknowledgments is in white. Okay, would you like that change? We can change it. I I think it'd be a good idea. Okay. Make it darker. And not because our names are in it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, well, it, it's very difficult to see against the gray. It's uh, easier against the dark blue, but we can change that. Okay, I will change patrons. Mm -hmm. Anything else? That's why we're reviewing it. Okay, let's turn to the, the back side of it. Um, our vision and our mission were kept the same because obviously they are still the same. Um, mm -hmm. On the middle panel, uh, we did add the, um, the Facebook. The Facebook link mm -hmm. and uh, and that's about it. Of, of course, what we uh, we changed was the uh, strategic plan. Initially, we had it listed as twenty to twenty five, and we all decided to change that simply to twenty twenty three, so we would not have an ending date of it because we'll have on our calendar to uh, review it every year. And uh, at some point we may decide to uh, revise it and otherwise we will have it stay as it is. So we did not put an ending date on it. Any other changes? Thank you for putting it together. It was great. It is, it's nice and clean. Okay, well, I will make those changes and then uh, I'll send it back to you, Keith. Then we have a follow up with that is when we did the 20, 20 or whatever that was, yes. Um, we were going to present it to council and then yes. we had things all mm -hmm. set up. We each had a role in the presentation. So I think this is now ready to go to council, if you agree. And in speaking with Sarah prior to the meeting, uh, and the council agendas, we'd be under staff reports at towards the top of the agenda. And we were thinking March 27. Is everybody going to be around in town? It's a Monday evening, March 27. Yeah. And because I'd really like to get it out there. It's been sitting, we've been handing it out to people in the library when we're open, but we haven't really promoted that we have this. So and then I was thinking we could prepare as a group for that and meet at nine o'clock on our meeting day, March 8th next month, and just do a nine to 10 not recorded session to prep for it. Would that work for everybody? No? No, that would be a violation of OPMA. Oh, shoot, you're right. Thank you, Sarah. Unless unless you have less than yeah, if you did uh, less than your quorum, you'd be fine. All right, but we need the quorum to coordinate it. We need a, a quorum to coordinate it. Yeah, can't we do it just as part of that meeting? We could have it on the agenda if you want. Okay, I'll I'll get it set up and get you talking points and um, okay. give you an idea, and then you can give me feedback, and then we can go over it at the meeting. Okay, well, let's that's do that. old business on the agenda. Okay. okay, all right. So March 8th, we'll prep for it under old business on the agenda and then do the presentation to council on March 27th. Okay, well, then going back to old business, since you won't be, um, well, since we'll all be speaking at the 27th, uh, are you going to be around for April? Uh, yeah, fine enough. Oh, okay. Well, let's tentatively put you down then for the April uh, City Council. And I don't know what, I have to pull up my calendar, but we'll, we'll have that date for you. Okay, well, thank you, Keith. But that was the note that I had when we were going to present it to, to Council. I think it would be April 24th for the meeting. It's the fourth Tuesday and fourth Monday, right? 
Yep. That means Jeff presents on the twenty on March twenty seventh and April twenty fourth. No, just April twenty fourth. April twenty fourth. That will uh, present the strategic plan okay. on the twenty seventh. On March twenty seventh. Yeah, and Thank that will you. that will be all of us. And we'll have three minutes still, right? Uh, no, no, we be under staff reports. The under staff oh, report we'll at six or so. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just to say, clarify, all the tasks. We are not doing a three minute presentation on the 27th, and Jeff gets moved over to April, and we're doing the strat presentation on the 27th. Right. Okay. You got it. And then we will uh, coordinate at that, that meeting. People will be in touch with us before that to, to talk about what we will talk about, what each of us will, um, will present. And then we'll coordinate that at our, our next meeting on March 8th. Any new business? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Susan. <laughs> Friends of the Library Report, Alex. Uh, the meeting for the friends of the library is going to happen, I think it's next week, so it hasn't happened yet. Mm -hmm. So I really don't have any uh, updates from the meetings, but sometimes you folks have updates from the not meetings. Anything new that I don't know about? Book sale was a success in January. They do this quarterly now, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. The mm -hmm. next one is March something. I have it right there. Okay. I do have it. What has happened um, with the friends is they are also stepping up their programming. And Michelle and this gal named Rhonda and Nico and myself met with Mary Jo and the vice president, um, Pam Clark, and we're going to do four similar kid adult type programs like Santa Claus throughout the year. And one that we're doing that's going to be real exciting is a May Day program. Maybe have a May pole and May baskets or something. Labor like craft history? For the kids, huh? Labor history, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, not too many people know that at all. So um, anyway, and then they're going to have a volunteer appreciation celebration, which you'll hear about. Uh, they're going to have a, a hot dog giveaway, and we're going to have a hot dog promotion. And I did write the Wienermobile and see if we could get it here, but I haven't heard that. Oh, cool. And John's going to um, feed us hot dogs. So, and then they're also having a watermelon day, like a hot dog day. They're having the... the hot dogs during grilling month, which I think was September, October, somewhere in there. So I don't have that in front of me, but yeah. So they are, they're stepping up and they did a vote to increase their budget for programs by a thousand dollars this year. So that's going to be real exciting. Anything else? Um, and to update the um, next Friends of the Library meeting will be on February 13th at Two o'clock and the social meeting starts at one third. That's Monday. Mm -hmm. Monday coming up. And the book sales March 10 and 11, the next one. Okay. And on Monday, our guest speaker is going to be Michelle. <laughs> yes. So mm -hmm. um, the new president, Mary Jo Lorenz, is a real gung ho and is getting everybody past COVID to have all these new exciting happenings for the friends. So we're real pleased with it. Okay, Ocean Shores Library Foundation. And uh, if I miss anything, well, it looks like Allison is talking. Um, the foundation met on January 25th and uh, they revised their bylaws. And this is really exciting. We've uh, expanded from five directors to seven directors. And if you remember, the reason we initially had five directors is when the foundation was set up, uh, we got the a state grant, uh, a, a state gift, 
And we immediately had to do something to uh, incorporate the foundation. So we used the existing board of trustees at the time, which is why we set it at five. Uh, but now we have other people interested. So we now have a full board uh, with, in August, uh, Faith Tomasek, is that how you say her name? Was appointed. And then at the last meeting, we had uh, Perry Stern and Linda Rust also appointed. So that now has a full board. So that's that's pretty exciting. Um, uh, mostly the foundation prioritized their funding projects and Keith already mentioned, they agreed to fund the sign and the, the shades for the, the outdoor pavilion. And uh, they continue to brainstorm on fundraising projects. That's pretty exciting. Um, any anything else, Keith? About the um, they have pretty much um, completed with a a trifold similar to the strat plan that you have uh, for a legacy campaign, and they're going to start promoting that actively, uh, possibly through mailings to residents. And the other thing that they did um, identify for 2024 projects was a one book one read program. I've been wanting to do this. In fact, I had it all set up and then COVID came, but it, everybody in the community reads one book and then you have programs for all ages geared somehow around that book. For example, mm -hmm. we were gonna do Lady on the Beach and I had books ready to purchase from the bookseller in Oregon and Stacy Steele's theater group was going to do a skit or a little play because they were already gonna do that mm -hmm. for the community. And they were going to just pare it down and do it. So things like that, or we'd show if it was a book related to a movie, we'd show the movie and maybe invite somebody that's in the cast or something to come and talk with people. So, but the idea is one book read by everybody in the community and programming around it. Mm -hmm. um, it's not something you can just do in a minute. I have to start on that probably around June to get it pulled off for 2024. So that's why it's a 2024 project. Are you still thinking Lady on the Beach then? I don't know. Okay, I, I do not know. Um, I'm the type of person, I don't do things in a vacuum, as I think you know. So it would be fun to have um, a contest or some right. sort of um, community input as to what book would be good. You know, I love tying people in to things and having them own it. And um, the legacy campaign was the other thing. Marketing talked about exhibits. Oh, that's the other exhibits. thing. The traveling exhibit. Yeah. That's what I was working on. Um, I purposely have left that space in the back of the library open. Um, I did it on the remodel because I don't know what the future of life is going to look like. So I wanted it to be adaptable. And one of the things I've done in my other um, library positions mm -hmm. is to have, oh, say, the Humanities Commission come in and do an exhibit on whatever. And it's, it'd be a big three piece trifold with you know stands and all sorts of stuff. And one that I did do in um, Port Angeles was um, a NASA space. Mm -hmm. And that was just really fun. And again, we did programming around it and brought people into the library to see this fabulous exhibit. And you have to pay for them. They're very well done. So they come in great big boxes and it's really, so we're looking into that possibly for 24 as well. That's it. Okay. Allison looks like she's still involved. Okay. Uh, we didn't have, um, well, uh, Alex did the last public comment to council. Uh, anything else for the good of the, the order? Well, thank you, Susan. No, thank you. <laughs> Exciting uh, things happening at the library. Yes, they are. And thank you so much for joining us, uh, Jenny. And good luck tomorrow. Thank you so much. Okay. I think it'll all be fine. It will. Allison, do you have anything to add? No, I don't. Thanks for including me. I appreciate it. Okay, well, we appreciate you being our liaison. Okay, our upcoming meeting date, uh, as we already mentioned, is March 8th. 
10 a.m. And motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay.